So not much really to update on. My goldfish are doing just fine. I got a new one by the way. I just got this. Ooh, he's, he's actually changed color. He's got black on him now. I, I've only had him now for like four days now. And when I got him, he was all he was just orange and white. Now he has black spots on him. He of course is from Petco. He came in. He came in pretty much great shape, as you can tell. Yeah, this is my newest goldfish. And of course, everyone else in this tank is doing just fine. A lot of them got a little. A lot of them have definitely gotten bigger too. Especially Jaws, wherever Jaws is. There he is. When I got him, he was like half. When I got him, he was around like half the size he is right now. So he's definitely gotten bigger. And of course, so is Kiri, but the one that's really gotten bigger is the koi, which is to be expected. But they're all slowly growing, which is kind of what I wanted. My flower horn in the 10 gallons also doing just fine. Unfortunately, the light I had in there that I had that was really good, it died. I don't know why, I just, I just turned it on one day, it turned on for one split second, then just nothing. So I just got my old visual lid back in. I'm gonna order a more water tight LED system. Of course I also add some little extra little backing here so you can't jump out of and also make it a little easier for me to uh, keep water in. Because if I can close up as many holes as I can, I want to fill this tank up as often. White Knight's doing just fine. It ta that tank's doing just fine. Mr. Puffer's doing just fine. I've got finally gotten him some actual bloodworms for him to eat. So he's nice and happy now. Granted, I'm probably going to feed him after this video. I've only, actually, it's only been about three hours since I fed him. So I don't think it'll be right to feed him again, but I could be wrong. I want to talk quickly about the useless pair here. These guys spawned again. This time, unfortunately, eggs got fungus. So that's kind of my fault. And for my, uh, well, what well, some of those things, I should put a, uh, bubble or something, be, uh, next to the eggs to keep water movement going so you don't get fungus. And basically what I've done is i removed all the little plates except the plates from, except these two little plates here and here. I'm hoping this will be more than enough to keep the eggs properly circulating and whatnot. I could be wrong again, I mean... These guys have yet to actually produce an actual viable spawn that they don't eat because they're useless. I divide this tank back up again. This here is my koi, not my koi, but this right here, the right here, the crown tail. He was originally in a he was originally in the ten gallon in the kitchen, but as you can tell, he's really nipped up. So I moved him into this tank. I've actually I actually let him sit in a little be uh, holder basket for about a week. To see if you'll see if you'll get any fungus or anything like that because um for some odd reason whenever I put a new fish inside the new bed inside this tank it'll get fungus and die I don't know why and yet the only fish I'll stay alive will be this guy but apparently now I got a fish that's that's going to survive so I just divide this tank back up and his fins are slowly regrowing and also this. This tank right here is one of the very few tanks I rarely have to do any water top ups on. I'm going to let this tank go for about one to two months before I need to do a water top off. These guys are doing just fine. My flower, he survived a little, he survived a little bouts of Vic. He's also starting to show some more coloring, so that's good. It's, go, it's still going to be a little while before he actually really shows off, shows off his true colors and whatnot. Both beds are doing just fine. I've also had some poppers plants inside this tank. And as you can tell, I moved the two rams into this tank here. They were doing they were getting bullied in both the uh in both the uh tank both in this little five gallon and in the ten gallon with the uh, with the uh, flower horn. But I put them in here with, inside this tank with my fat with Mr. Fat Beta. And everyone gets along. He's more the calm, non aggressive type. Yeah, the rams are doing just fine, and everyone's doing just fine in this tank. I also have a guppy fry in this tank. I'm going to see if I can find it. Oh, I just missed it. It just went behind the cup. 
and it's playing hide. It's an itty bitty, it's a little itty bitty fry too. So it's only been here, so I don't know how long it's been in here, but it's, it's super small. I have no idea what happened to the original fry I, didn't, I had in here. I'm guessing it got ate or something. But I got another fry in here. And I believe this one right here is the one that's been, that's been popping them out. I also did some uh, tank maintenance in this tank here. I had some more poppus plants inside here for them to swim in and not to help with nitrates. The roots in this tank are just all over the place. I got little poppus leaves growing and growing out of the growing in the water. It's really hard to kill poppus plants, and that's a good thing. This also gives the fish a lot. This also gives the fish a lot more room to hide in and whatnot. I can't tell you how many times I go out here inside into this just out into the kitchen look at this tank and I'll see the you know see the red eyes, one of my angels, and the uh red tail in the in the uh in the roots. Last little update. I got me a Walmart crown tail. When I saw him originally, which was about a week ago prior to me getting him, I fell in love with the way he looks. Black bodied with orange fins. And I was like, if he's going to be there next time I'm at Walmart, I'm going to pick him up. And luckily he was there. So I was able to save him. And he likes his new little home. Granted, it doesn't have a here yet, but it stays at a decent 74. Which is actually pretty amazing. Though I do plan on getting him, uh, giving him a heater soon though. But yeah, this is my newest little companion in my, uh... A session with fish.